do, I think. Speak up. Um, what do you want to ask about David? Well, like... Why I like David Lynch? Well, why do you like... Why do you like Frank Herbert, period? Um... I, wow, that's actually not a very... Like, let's talk about this quickly. <laughs> I like Frank Herbert because of... Uh, um, all the references. All the, the diverse influences. And, um, particularly with this one. As well as socially and even politically. Now, what was your essay particularly about? Um, it was mostly about the Islamic, um, overtones to do. Yeah. Uh, particularly in relation to the Mahdi. Mm -hmm. and the concept of a Mahdi, which is the, uh, Muslim word for Messiah. And his comparison to, if I can remember my paper, it was like, like five years ago, um, um, the comparison to the actual man who claimed to be of the Mahdi in um, the 1870s, that rebelled against the British Empire. Mm. Um, someone that Frank Herbert actually considered to have been a major influence on his writing of the character, and the fact of why he actually considered Paul Atreides to be a failed one. Ah. Because he didn't actually succeed. Yeah. Um, which is what's interesting. And, and I also wrote about the fact of it having to do with... Um, um, rebelling against the government, dealing with social issues, um, the fact that it, it, it presents this sort of liberal, but what I always call liberal with a gun mentality. Which, basically, liberals with a gun, as I look at them, they're basically the people that espouse the more or less liberal ideas of, you know, um, equal rights, um, protecting the environment, even protecting the world, world peace, um, um, helping people with that are um, having good health care and all these other things, but are willing to actually enter into the realms of what most people associate with conservatism, which is um, uh, concepts like militias and things like that. What the hell is this at? Branson. No, it's like zombie stuff. It's called Castle of Chaos. Um, I don't know. I, I'm a big Doom fan. Uh, I did not know that Kevin J. Anderson actually wrote the books with Brian Herbert, which is badass, actually. I, I did not know that either. The main guy from Dark Horse Comics. <laughs> <laughs> and has probably written more Star Wars stories than anybody knows. Which would explain why... He had vaguely doom like elements. Which is why everybody always went to Tatooine. I don't understand that. Why now I was reading Star Wars like reading Star Wars like why the hell are they going to Tatooine in every issue? <laughs> They're like, oh, he he writes Doom books. Uh, so of course they're going to Tatooine because he's he's probably like Tatooine is actually Arrakis. People don't realize that they're actually the same universe. Actually what's funny is uh, Brian Herbert, who actually wrote one of the Star Wars stories, actually implied that they are the same universe. Really? Because there's spice in the Star Wars. Wait, Brian Herbert yes. wrote a Star Wars... Yeah, him and Kevin J. Anderson wrote Leviathan, which is where they basically fight... Uh, it might as well be a sand war. I mean, <laughs> it was more like a sand war mixed with, like, an Enduro Jihad. But... Uh, did they ever, like, say that... Did they ever try and say Tatooine was Arrakis? There is implications, because they refer to it as having had a different name in the ancient days. And when they wrote... <laughs> and when Kevin J. Anderson writes Outlander, mm -hmm. uh, which the main character, Asherod Het, is a Tuscan writer, mm -hmm. he actually says, we are not Tuscans, we're Fremen. He actually says we're not yes. Tuscans. We are Fremen. Wow. <laughs> so, and many people were like, and I always wondered, like, why the hell? I thought he probably writes a dude. So he's probably just like, it's not like it's absolutely said, 
but it's implied that probably yeah. he has said in his own interviews that he considers them the same universe. He goes, I don't necessarily say that Frank Herbert or George Lucas would have said it's the same universe, but in my well, you, in my in, opinion, and me and Brian's opinion, me and the son of Frank Herbert, <laughs> and their view is that the events of Dune occurred thousands of years before. That makes a lot of sense. And basically before recorded history. Yeah. That was ancient history before. It was the Hyborian Age of Star Wars. <laughs> 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 and that there's yeah. implications. Because I guess they probably think the idea was the fact that originally, basically, Lucas had wanted to do to Yes, he did. And there's a lot of aspects. Like, there's an early one where basically it's about... Like, he actually mentions, like, Spice in an early draft of Star Wars. But Spice is now back in Star Wars. It pretty much is very similar to the Spice of... It's actually so good that you can actually think you're tapping into the Force. Which is actually very similar to actually what it does if you actually read um, the Yeah. Because, like, for instance, if you can't yeah. use the Force, if you take out of Spice, you actually can reach enough of... Um, a high that you basically can use the force, but it runs out, so people get addicted to it because they're like, "Oh my god, I can do weird fucking shit." You know, weird dude, I can do some weird because, fucking shit. Because if you is even in like a New Hope, it, yeah, Han Solo is like, "Yeah, where's the um, where's the Jawa?" Is like, "Where the hell is my spice?" Huh? Hold on, you got that millions of dollars in the spice. Come to touch <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's officially said, but, I mean, there's implications. At least in the expanded universe. At least in the expanded universe, that that Dune universe and Star Wars is the same. Yes. And some people would probably be pissed off about that. Probably somebody, which is why I don't really point it out much. <laughs> I, I know enough of Star Wars to so actually reach that point. But what's funny is it doesn't seem... What's funny, though, is Dune fans and Star Wars fans actually get along. They get along, but I'm talking about, if you talk to a Dune fan and they're like, wait, that means the prequels, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then, then you have a problem. Right. Oh, but, um, I guess it's better than if, you know, there was some story where they found, like, a Vulcan bird of prey. Like, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that would, yeah, it's a Vulcan Bird of prey found on Tatooine. <laughs> like, it's like it's only one galaxy. You don't know that Star Trek is it like over there? <laughs> <laughs> because actually, Lucas himself has actually been like jokingly said that all fictional universes exist in the Star Wars universe. So he's gone sort of like the Michael Moorcock, except for the fact he just says they occur in different. Galaxies as opposed to different universes. universes. But that's very Michael Moorcock of him. Yes. And many people